Toto. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most iconic quality scenes in cinema history. This list focuses on live action English language films. Also, please note possible spoilers ahead. Try, Rick. God bless you. Number 20 The Standoff The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Many films have tried to replicate this standoff, but none of them comes close to the sheer power in this one. Sergio Leone's masterstroke takes its sweet time building up each character before putting them in a dramatic finale. His camera zooms in close on each man, letting the viewer gaze upon each micro-movement in their face. Every actor brings a wonderful physicality and presence to this scene, but the real star is Ennio Morricone's soaring score. The legendary composer delivers perhaps his most noteworthy work as he sets the mood for an intense conclusion. Number 19, Bullet Dodge, The Matrix. After this sci-fi masterpiece came out, the action genre was forever changed. The Matrix allows for people like Neo to do extraordinary things in amazing sequences. During a rooftop fight, the hero finds himself staring down a loaded gun. Trinity! Help! He then bends his body back in order to dodge bullets in slow motion, a maneuver that's still striking to this day. The incredible mix of cinematography and visual effects turns this moment into a revolutionary piece of filmmaking. To top it all off, Trinity finishes off the attacker with an effective one-liner. Dodge this. Talk about badass. Number 18, Factory Scene, Modern Times. Section 5, give it a limit. Among the masters of early film comedy, Charlie Chaplin infused Modern Times with all of his best attributes. He plays his tramp character as a factory worker who's lost in an assembly line position. This sequence satirizes poor labor conditions, even putting Chaplin into a machine at one point. The mix of physical comedy and social commentary works perfectly to illustrate the monotony of work. Always elevating his game, the actor even turns the scene into dance-like choreography before it becomes a full-blown chase. You couldn't ask for much more from this cinematic master. Number 17, Using the Clock Tower, Back to the Future. Look at the time! You got less than four minutes! You know the story. Desperate to get back to the present, Marty McFly enlists Doc Brown to help him journey through time. This involves a complex plan to use the clock tower during a stormy night. Director Robert Zemeckis generates excitement out of every second, making you think at several points that the fickle-to-begin-with scheme will fail. There's also the thrilling moment when Doc Brown almost falls off the tower. As the hero readies the DeLorean, everything comes together in a super satisfying way. and the fact that it all happens in the nick of time only makes it that much more memorable. Number 16, T-Rex Escape, Jurassic Park. Everything about this scene makes you believe you're on a thrill ride. Steven Spielberg has a true knack for complex sequences, completely selling this Jurassic Park moment as one of his most suspenseful ever. Boy, no head being right all the time. The T-Rex makes its way beyond the fence and into the path of the unlucky visitors. Building the tension with key details and visuals, the director makes you fear the worst before the characters decide to act. Ian, freeze! Get the kid! This all comes together with a unique blend of effective direction and special effects. The dinosaur recreation gave viewers a genuine fright in its time. It's no wonder this one is hailed as a classic. Number 15, I Drink Your Milkshake, There Will Be Blood. Following all of the epic storytelling and scenery, There Will Be Blood ends with two people talking in a mansion. 
The setup sounds simple, but it's anything other than boring and a riveting display of acting. I'd like you to tell me that you were a false prophet. Daniel Plainview confronts his rival Eli Sunday in a verbal joust that's both cathartic and wildly intense. Led by Daniel Day-Lewis's staggering performance, this moment builds up to the iconic milkshake line without losing any intensity. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. Paul Dano manages to play along with his scene partner, bringing a nuanced and scared presence in a confrontation that turns violent. Day-Lewis delivers arguably his greatest triumph as an artist in one of Paul Thomas Anderson's best efforts. Number 14, Ride of the Valkyries, Apocalypse Now. Big Duke, six eagle thrust. Put on Saiwara, make it loud. In one of the best uses of classical music in film, this sequence from Apocalypse Now comes to life. A series of helicopters rains terror down on a Vietnamese village while Richard Wagner plays. It's a mix of horror, spectacle, and electric imagery that you will never forget. What a shot. Outstanding, Red Team, outstanding. Get your case of beer for that. Francis Ford Coppola's direction presents the attack from every angle in a visual benchmark for the era. Dynamic editing choices also bring the Vietnam War into a surreal space. It's easy to see how the making of this movie was so taxing on the team, considering the difficulty of this scene alone. Number 13, Faking It, When Harry Met Sally. A shining staple of the romantic comedy genre, When Harry Met Sally features an entertaining dynamic between two soon-to-be lovers. Harry Burns and Sally Albright discuss all things romance and argue about one intimate subject in this famous sequence. Most women at one time or another have faked it. Well, they haven't faked it with me. How do you know? Burns is convinced that women don't fake their excitement in bed, but Albright easily proves him wrong. Meg Ryan delivers a hilarious show-stopping performance as she makes the entire restaurant supremely uncomfortable. Sitting across from her in stunned silence, Billy Crystal also adds some great reaction shots. It's another hysterical scene from a rom-com classic that all ends with a perfect one-liner. I'll have what she's having. Number 12, The Statue of Liberty. Planet of the Apes. There's got to be an answer. Don't look for it, Taylor. You may not like what you find. Charlton Heston's George Taylor and his fellow astronauts seem to have landed on a strange planet where apes hold power over humans. In this exciting sci-fi adventure, the hero struggles against the oppressive regime to free himself and fellow human Nova. This results in one of the best twists in film history. By the end, the two stumble upon the Statue of Liberty, realizing that the planet they've been on the entire time is actually a post-apocalyptic Earth. You maniacs! You blew it up! It's a devastating moment that leaves the movie on a gut-wrenching cliffhanger. While the reveal has been remade and parodied, the original scene still packs a punch with Heston's emotional reaction. Number 11, Rhett Butler's Exit, Gone with the Wind. Adapted from Margaret Mitchell's novel, this 19th century tale comes to a close with one final encounter between Scarlett O'Hara and Rhett Butler. The Southern Belle pleads with her partner to stay, but can't convince him. I wanted you. I wanted you desperately, but I didn't mean you wanted me. Butler then unleashes one of the best put-downs in cinematic history. Delivered by the great Clark Gable, this blunt line sums up the feelings of a character who can't take it anymore. Red, you go. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. The actor's scene partner also gets a chance to shine as she finds herself hoping for the future. Both funny and dramatic, this moving sequence brings this controversial film to a close. Number 10, Rosebud, Citizen Kane. Often called one of the best films ever made, Citizen Kane begins with a striking scene that sets up the central mystery. A series of shots detail the remote and spooky estate where Charles Foster Kane lives. The newspaper magnate says but one enigmatic word before dying, dropping a snow globe in the process. It's expertly shot for the time and features a moody atmosphere that captures your attention right away. Film students could write and likely have written entire essays about this one, and we can see why. 
Orson Welles wowed audiences with his talent for storytelling, and the famous phrase in this scene perfectly sets up the narrative, hinting at the emotional payoff to come. No, I guess Rosebud is just a piece in a jigsaw puzzle. A missing piece. Number 9. Chestburster, Alien. I'm eating this. <laughs> What's the matter? The food ain't that bad, oh, baby. Okay. Crew member Kane encounters a face hugger on a creepy moon, but later appears to be recovered during a team meal. Well, at least until he starts to convulse and his chest bursts open. Full of blood and brilliant effects, this scene embraces the terrifying event in excruciating detail. The cast looks genuinely horrified as they react to the disgusting event. Actor John Hurt does a wonderful job making you think he's actually in distress, helping to make this moment an iconic horror scene. Oh, no. oh, touch it. Redefining the genre and kickstarting a franchise, director Ridley Scott creates a brand in one frightening sequence. Number 8. Singin' in the Rain. Singin' in the Rain. For the title number of this musical, Gene Kelly shows off his amazing skills for song, dance, and the ability to embrace bad weather. He creates iconic images with his perfect maneuvers for this immaculate routine, with the lamp post pose pretty much cemented in the pop culture canon at this point. I'm laughing at clouds, so dark up above. As a true triple threat, the actor flies around the screen with an effortless charm that few of his contemporaries can match, and all through a heavy downpour. How he didn't slip during that tap dancing break is beyond us. Singing in the Rain is among the greatest MGM productions ever, and this scene is the perfect encapsulation of its refined quality. Dancing and singing in the rain. Number 7. I Am Your Father, Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back While the original Star Wars features many spectacular scenes, its sequel embraces the deeper mythology of the story. The conclusion puts Luke Skywalker against Darth Vader in a fierce lightsaber duel. After cutting off Skywalker's hand, the Sith Lord drops arguably the most memorable twist in cinematic history. I am your father. It's an incredible moment that still ranks among the best of the entire franchise. If you can remember watching this for the first time, you probably felt the same way the hero did. Capping off an expertly devised fight, this revelation is a must-see, even if you know what happens. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. Number 6. Omaha Beach – Saving Private Ryan you can argue that he's made better overall films, but few of Steven Spielberg's works can compete with the opening sequence in Saving Private Ryan. This even includes tough competition from iconic adventures like Raiders of the Lost Ark and Jaws. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Starting with a long buildup, the filmmaker puts in a landing craft with other terrified soldiers. The men are then subjected to realistic gunfire and explosions as they attempt to take Omaha Beach. It's among the more visceral battles ever put to celluloid, provoking strong reactions from veterans that call it shockingly accurate. All we can do here is die! Covering fire! Spielberg also uses slow motion to emphasize the horror of the real event. It's an amazing accomplishment, still holding the title for greatest war scene ever. Number 5. Dawn of Man, 2001, A Space Odyssey this sci-fi masterpiece starts like no other film of its kind. A prehistoric scene finds hominins encountering a monolith, showing the tribe before and after their discovery of tools. It's a wordless sequence that tests the audience's patience and mental stamina. Ultimately, the rewarding and metaphorical ideas build to a monumental moment in cinema. One of the apes starts to use a bone as a mallet, and the famous soundtrack accompanies the outburst. It's a fantastic mix of beautiful imagery and music, culminating in a staggering piece of editing. A bone flies into the air before the story cuts millions of years into the future. Director Stanley Kubrick outdoes himself here, giving viewers a truly one-of-a-kind trip through history. Number 4. Tearful Goodbye Casablanca. Just when it looks like the heroes of this romance will run off together, Casablanca pulls the rug out from under us. 
Rick gets his former flame Ilsa to the airport and tells her to board a plane without him. This prompts one of the most heartbreaking goodbyes in Hollywood movie making. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. We didn't have, we, we lost it until you came to Casablanca. Both Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman give all-star performances in their last moments on screen, saying so much with only their expressions. Bogart's character also sends her away with one of the film's best and most memorable lines. Now, now. He's looking at you, kid. After all these years, you can't help but feel emotional after these two tragic people part ways for a final time. Number 3. I Believe in America – The Godfather Within a few minutes, The Godfather establishes itself as an American classic. The first scene finds a humble man asking for Don Corleone's advice. For justice, we must go to Don Corleone. He gives an incredible speech that begins with a quote, summing up the rich subtext of the movie. Marlon Brando does so much while sitting and stroking a cat, cementing his Oscar win before the conversation is even over. The sinister and dynamic world of organized crime comes into full view by the end of this exchange. You don't offer friendship. You don't even think to call me Godfather. With incredible cinematography from Gordon Willis, director Francis Ford Coppola lets the performer set the stage for an incredible saga. Number 2. Taking a Shower – Psycho When Marion Crane stops at the Bates Motel, she prepares to wash up and subsequently changes the act of showering forever. Directed with precision by Alfred Hitchcock, Marion is attacked by a knife-wielding assailant in a brutal slaying. There are so many edits that you barely have time to realize the blade is never shown breaking skin. With this sequence alone, Hitchcock practically created the slasher genre. Or at least he influenced decades of horror movies. Each shot is so purposeful, like the swirling drain in juxtaposition with the lifeless eye, which is a great reminder about the art that cinema is as a medium. If you weren't yet convinced of Hitchcock's ability to create a visually impressive scene, we raise you the crop duster scene from North by Northwest. Get out of here! The other tank may blow. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. It's alive! Frankenstein. The Mad Doctor reanimates the monster and reacts accordingly. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Oh, in the name of God! Now I know what it feels like to be God! You talking to me? Taxi Driver. Robert De Niro delivers an iconic line as the menacing Travis Bickle. You talking to me? You talking to me? Then who the hell else are you talking? You talking to me? Circle of Confessions, The Breakfast Club. Each high schooler reveals their inner humanity in the film's best sequence. You want to know what I did to get in here? Nothing. I didn't have anything better to do. <laughs> You're laughing at me. <laughs> No! <laughs> you are! Ezekiel 2517, Pulp Fiction. Samuel L. Jackson should have won an Oscar for this speech delivery. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. How about a magic trick? The Dark Knight. Heath Ledger's Joker comes alive in a devilish scene full of deadly magic. I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. Ta -da! It's... it's gone. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Changing to Color – The Wizard of Oz Undeniably a beloved film, The Wizard of Oz perfectly blends fantasy and music into essential viewing. The Hollywood classic transforms itself after the tornado takes Dorothy's house away. Waking up in a new land, the hero steps out from black and white and into full technicolor. We must be over the rainbow! 
her first discovery of the colorful setting makes for a gasp-worthy moment. It also speaks to the imagination of the filmmakers that they knew exactly how to thrill an audience with a simple trick. Dorothy's adventures become more spectacular with legendary musical numbers, but this sequence reflects the magical nature of the medium as beautifully as anything does. No, I, I know we're not in Kansas. Did we forget a super classic movie scene? Let us know in the comments below. <sighs> 124. I still got time. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.